Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow cilantro in spider farmer hydroponic system. This is slow bolt cilantro. I have grown this many times in many hydroponic systems, but I have never grown at this large scale like using all 12 pods. So let's see if I can grow lots of cilantro in the hydroponic systems like this which supports 12 pods. Nowadays it became very simple and straightforward. I use it to make the seedlings using wet paper towel method but I found that it is working well in some hydroponic systems. I have grown it in I do and I hope garden in the past by placing the seeds directly in the ponds. So I am going to repeat the same thing in the spider farmer and see how many of the seeds will germinate and work out in this system. One thing I want to call out with these cilantro seeds is they are not actually seeds they are actually seed pods. There are two germs inside and those germs are covered with very hard shell. So to improve the germination rate, one best thing we can do is split the seeds. Just gently roll it between your fingers and let them crack. Once you crack the seeds, you can split them easily. So now I was able to split the seeds. I already prepared a bunch of uh, split seeds you can see here. So I am going to place 2 to 3 split seeds into each pod and I am going to use all 12 pods. I already prepared the pods using some off brand sponges and I do stickers and I am reusing the pod baskets. So now I am going to place the seeds split seeds into these pods. I am trying to place at least 3 seeds into each pod. I hope at least one seed will germinate. Alright, the garden is ready. I managed to place at least 3 seeds in each pod and all 12 pods are ready. As always, I am going to add water but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings and I am going to use maxi grow throughout this grow cycle and I am going to use half a teaspoon for every 1 liter of water. I have used maxi grow many times for cilantro and half a teaspoon for every 1 liter of water works very well. I found that half a teaspoon for 1 liter works for many herbs and leafy green vegetables and I am going to follow the same thing. Alright, this garden is all set and good to go. It's been 7 days. I don't see any signs of germination from any ponds. This is expected. I normally see germination with cilantro seeds from 3rd week onwards. Let's wait and see. It's day 10. I see seedlings coming from 2 pods. One here and 2 seedlings here. That's a good start. And I see a couple of seeds germinated in few other pods. So the journey has started. It's been 11 days. I see few more seedlings. One here and one here and one more just coming up. I closed all the holes with a piece of aluminum foil. I just want to block the light as much as possible to prevent algae growing on the sponges. So this aluminum foil is going to help. And now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding the nutrition. I already prepared maxi grow nutrient solution. I added uh, 2 teaspoons of dry nutrients into this bottle, added uh, about 100 ml of water and uh, mixed it, shaked up very well. Now the solids are mostly dissolved. Now I am going to dump the solution straight into the bowl. I have a little over 4 liters of water. So I started with uh, 2 teaspoons of maxi grow nutrients. I think uh, this is pretty much I am going to maintain throughout this grow cycle. Alright. So this garden is all set and uh, these ceilings are good to go. It's been 16 days, few more seeds germinated and I finally have 8 pods with seedlings. Some of the pods have 3 seedlings and some of the pods have just 1 seedling but overall 8 out of 12 pods have seedlings. 
I don't see any signs of germination from four pods and I don't have any hopes on this. Little bit of sadness but I am totally fine with it. I am happy to continue this garden with the eight pods. Now I am going to adjust the pods and move the pods with seedlings into front and back rows and keep the middle row empty so that they will have enough room and they grow very well. It's been 21 days. Look at these seedlings. Wow. Lots of cilantro already. If I want, I can start harvesting the cilantro. I can just pinch off the leaves and use them. But I'm not going to start harvesting them yet. I have another Aero Garden sprout full of cilantro. So I'm already enjoying it. So I have little time here. And these are the pods without the germination. I have been little hopeful on these pods. So that's the reason I'm keeping them here. But now they crossed 21 days. I'm not at all hopeful. I'm going to remove these pods. Anyways, I'm already feeling this garden full of cilantro. So I'm happy with the eight pods. It's day 25. Look at this garden. It is fully loaded with lots of cilantro. And this cilantro is coming really nice and strong. Wide leaves. This is fantastic growth and it is going very well. Wow, wow, wow. Very nice. It's day 35. The cilantro is coming excellent. Very flavorful, very tasty. I already started using the cilantro. Look at this. I started harvesting the leaves. I normally harvest like this. Just take the leaf all the way to the bottom. Just to harvest the outer leaves like this and the plant will continue to produce more cilantro from the center and it will go for a really long time. It can go up to four or even five months. So I'm going to continue to do the same thing. These plants already started drinking lots of water. They actually emptied the bowl. I did not realize that. So some cilantro started drying up. I realized it and I added water. Hopefully the cilantro will come back. Hopefully it survives. Lots of cylinder is looking okay. There are only few plants that are drying up. I will remove all these dried up leaves and hopefully the cylinder will recover. Anyway, I think it is going to be pretty routine from this point. This garden is full of cylinder. It is working out very well. Now actually I am thinking that I should always start cylinder in some uh, bigger bowls with uh, more pots like this. So I will have at least 7-8 pots. That will take over the entire garden. I don't need to worry about replacing the seeds etc. So I can start in all pods with a couple of seeds in each pod and let them do their job. If some of them give up I can just take them out because these systems like this spider former comes with a 12 pods. So I can start with all 12 pods and even four of them fail. The eight of them will give enough cilantro and take over the garden. So that's a good lesson for me. From now on, I'm not going to use the Aero Garden Harvest anymore. I will definitely use the systems like Spider Farmer, Mufga, Mars Hydro, etc. So basically systems with lots of holes. I will start in every hole and let them do their job. And I don't worry about replacing the seeds. Alright, that's pretty much Thanks for watching and happy gardening.